This video demonstrates how to post salary journal information directly from Sage50 Cloud Payroll to Sage50 Cloud Accounts using the nominal link feature. We'll start by looking at how you set up the nominal link in Sage50 Cloud Payroll. So we go into Company, and then from the Tasks pane, you click Nominal Settings. From the Defaults tab, you need to choose your account software. You can choose this from the drop down. In this example, it's already set to Sage50 Accounts. Next, you need to browse to the Sage Accounts Company file. This is held in the Settings folder of Sage50 Accounts. If you're not sure where this is and how to find out, we'll quickly switch across to Sage50 Accounts to show you. In Sage Accounts, you need to open the Help menu and then choose About. The settings directory where your company file is held is then listed down the left hand side. You should also make a note of your version number at the top of this section as this will also determine where the company file is located. So in our instance, version 27. Back in Sage50 Cloud Payroll, we browse to that folder. Once in the settings folder, you then need to browse to the folder for your specific version of Sage Accounts. So in this example, we're using version 27 of Sage 50 Accounts, so that's 2021. If it was version 26, it would be 2020, version 25, 2019, version 24, 2018. So you open the relevant folder, select the company file, and click Open. If you only have a single company version of Sage50 Cloud Accounts, you'll then be prompted to log on. If you've got a multi-company version, you'll need to select your company and then you'll be prompted to log on. So you'll need to enter your logon name, your password, and click OK. We then recommend that you click Use Default Nominal Codes, and then click Yes to the confirmation message. You then need to complete the Profit and Loss and Balance Sheet Analysis tabs at the top. Let's start with a PL. Here we need to make sure we've got a nominal code entered against each profit and loss category. If you've got any blanks, you just need to click into the blank field and then either type in the nominal code or select it from the drop down list. You then need to complete this for any other profit and loss categories. To save time, we've jumped ahead and we've completed these. You then have a number of override options available at the bottom. And you'll find out more information about these within our Help Center. The process is similar for the balance sheet analysis. It's just a case of making sure you've got a nominal code specified for each balance sheet category. Once again, we've quickly jumped ahead where we've completed these. Our Help Centre also contains information about the balance sheet analysis overrides that you can set up. If you also wish the software to post a bank payment for the employee's net wages as part of the nominal link, you can enter a bank payment nominal code. To complete the setup, you then click OK. You then return to the payroll desktop and that's it done. In the second part of this demonstration, we're going to show you how to post the nominal link. Nominal link is included in the tasks menu and is usually the next step after you update your records. When the nominal link wizard appears, you click next and you'll be presented with a list of employees to be included in the nominal link postings. You click next. You can then enter a transaction reference, confirm the transaction date and whether you want to group transactions or not. You then click Next. A list of the transactions that will be posted to Sage Accounts will then be listed. And you either click Next if you want to post a bank payment, or you can click Finish to post the nominal transactions only. In this case, we'll click Next. We'll enter a transaction reference for the bank payment, and then click Next. You then click Finish, and then log into Sage Accounts in the normal way. A progress bar appears. 
followed by a confirmation message. You click OK. You return to the CHP Roll desktop and that's the process complete.